Welcome class of HC. Like this video on your way in and comment present in the comment section below if you are here to become the best version of you. Here are the three steps on how to let go. Step one, be grateful. In this context, to be grateful is to appreciate that what has happened has already now passed. No matter what you feel about those moments, they are only as real as your perspective permits. Being grateful is an important element to letting go because appreciation leads to understanding. Consider that being angry, hateful, or dismissive about your past blocks you from wanting to explore the lessons hidden in the situation, which will likely lead to life trying to teach you that lesson again in another way. This creates a cycle of you going through the same events and dealing with the same situations perpetually until you have learned that lesson. Appreciate that you are at this point because you are moving on from what was to become who you want to be. What already happened was to teach you and to build you, and your gratefulness will give you access to that hidden understanding. Always remember, what happened happened for you, not to you. There is always a lesson to be learned. Be grateful, take your lesson, and let go. Step 2. Accept. In this context, to accept is to come to terms with the reality of your situation, because only once you accept what has happened can you choose to move forward from it. To accept is thus to hold yourself accountable. For example, let's say you're an athlete and you lost an important basketball game. If you refuse to accept your loss and blame everything on events outside of your control, you will never improve from that point in your life. But life will continue to go on though. So while everyone else is practicing getting better and figuring out ways to circumvent the prior circumstances, you will come back to the next game exactly as you were before, which will likely lead you to the same result. However, if you were to accept things for what they are, you would be able to start taking the steps necessary to move forward from that moment. To accept is an essential element to knowing how to let go because once you accept something for what it is, you can categorize it so that you can then deal with it appropriately. This means, for example, that when someone shows you their true colors, stop trying to paint over it. Accept it for what it is. Sometimes things are exactly what they appear to be. And only once you see and accept things for what they are, can you approach the situation in the right way. This is true especially when it comes to interpersonal relationships. For example, someone can love you desperately with their feelings and still not know how to love you correctly with their actions. Yet, only when you accept this will you be able to be confident about letting go. As tweeted by record executive Biggs Burke, you can't keep letting things slide. That's how a leak turns into a flood. Accept and move on. Step 3. Love yourself. A person that loves themselves is less tolerant of entities that cannot reciprocate that love. Loving yourself is an essential factor to letting go because when you love yourself, you are aware of your self-worth and therefore less prone to tolerate ambiguous treatment. Think of it this way. If you are used to eating high quality food products, and you are very mindful of the food that you feed yourself. If someone comes along and proposes you fast food or low quality produce, you are likely to reject their offer. Not because you don't appreciate their offer, not because you're not caring or that you're mean or disrespectful, but simply because you are conscious of how to take care of your own well-being. You know what is good, so you will naturally abstain from what is not. Loving yourself works in the same way. You will naturally want to abstain or let go of things causing or influencing chaos in your life the more that you nurture yourself with love. The moment you realize that the way people treat you is a reflection, a direct reflection actually, 
of how they feel about themselves, you automatically return low vibrations and anything that is not love to the sender. This love encourages the conscious choice of the people that you allow into your life, because as said by Iron Mike Tyson, if you're a friend of everybody, you're an enemy to yourself. Let go of what is not love and pick up what is truly you. Thanks for your attendance today, class. Before you leave class today, please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next class on Howell Consultations, the how-to to being true to you.